What's up, y'all? Sort of our story here. We're bringing a video, vlog, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, I'm not mad right now. I'm just kind of tired. I just woke up and all this shit. But, um, yeah, I just had to record this video because. Crap, I guess. This pretty much is gonna be like a uh, I don't know. Okay, okay, no, no, I know what it's gonna be. Okay. Now I can't do an E three roundup because I already rounded up everything I needed about E three, like the conferences and whatnot. But it's gonna be dealing with stuff from E three and whatnot. But uh, yeah. Okay. Uh So first off, this is mostly about games, right? Two games in particular. Or mainly, no. This is about next-gen consoles in particular. What the hell is going on, okay? And this is mainly about... Not even two games anymore, because I don't think anyone gives a fuck about that going to Xbox One anymore. But one game in particular, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, so, at Sony's conference, they showed, uh, Final Fantasy vs. 13, now renamed 15, and Kingdom Hearts 3, and they said that it was coming, coming to the PS4, not exclusive to the PS4, they said it was coming to the PS4, right? So, uh, yeah. So, the day after... Which was just this past Tuesday. Square Enix, you know, they had they they had their little on little conference uh, near their E3 booth, and basically they uh showed the Final Fantasy 15 and Kingdom Hearts 3 trailers again. They had also announced that they were also coming to Xbox One, and this is when the whole hype craze just goes out to shit. Okay. It's not just because it's games, it's because of the next gen consoles too, like. My thing is, why complain, guys? The fan base is going to shit. Not just Kingdom Hearts fan base. Well, no, no. I'm not even going to put Final Fantasy in it because no one really cares. They don't want most of it. But mostly the Kingdom Hearts fan base. It's turning to shit. You wanna know why it's turning to shit? Because of fanboys. I'm a fanboy of Square. I, I'm a fanboy of Kingdom Hearts, okay? I am a fanboy of Final Fan I'm a fanboy of JRPGs, okay? My problem is why do people have such a big deal with it going to Xbox One? Why? Why do you have such a... Like, when I heard that Kingdom Hearts 3 was coming to Xbox One and Final Fantasy 15, my mind was fucking blown. I was surprised. I was like, why? But then I was like, I honestly do not give a fuck. You want to know why I don't give a fuck? And sorry, sorry for my language. I should have... Sorry about my language, guys, I, but I honestly don't give a fuck. Why? Because I'm not buying an Xbox One. I'm not. I'm fine with it coming out on the Xbox One. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine with Kingdom Hearts 3 and Final Fantasy 15 coming to the Xbox One. And I know you guys are going to go in the comments you're going to be like, Well, you obviously don't know all this dead about that. I watched the E3. I watched the Xbox reveal. I read online about the shit. I know about the 24-hour DRM. I know about the auth auth authentications. I know about all that shit. Okay? I watched all this shit. I know the stupid shit Microsoft is pulling. Microsoft's a stupid company. They're money hungry. They're Americans. I'm American shit. Well, no, that was kind of right. That was kind of wrong. But they're money hungry. 
That's all it is. But why give a fuck? If you are not buying an Xbox One, why do you give a fuck about a game coming on it? Let me get this shit straight with y'all right now. Square Enix is not a first party developer, okay? Square Enix is a third party developer. They can do whatever the hell they want to do with their games they want. Also, let me get this straight. Even though... Even though the Xbox One is completely anti-gamer, it literally has the same or nearly the same exact same specs of the PS4. They both have 8 gigabytes of RAM. PS4 only having the slider edge because it's GDDR5, which is more a little bit more faster than the standard GDR, GDDR3, which you'll find in most computers today. Everything else is the same. They said same eight core, same eight core AMD CPU, GPU, and all that shit. Same, same, the same. And going back to what I said, Square Enix is not a first party developer. They are a third party developer. They can do whatever the fuck they want, okay? They're an independent company, okay? And it's pissing me off because. First off, Square Enix? Square Enix started on the goddamn Nintendo console. Or, or maybe you guys forgot that. Most of Square's biggest games were on the Nintendo console. Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 3, Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy 5, Final Fantasy 6, uh, Chrono, 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 uh, Trigger. All that shit. Secret of Mana. All that shit was on the NES and SNES. I know my shit, niggas. Okay? Call me nerd if you want. I don't give a fuck. Just being real here. Then what? Like, six games show up on the PS2 and now you're up. Final, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy 9, Final Fantasy 10, Final Fantasy 11, Final Fantasy 12, Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2. Eight games show up exclusive to the PlayStation. And you're like, Oh my god, Th this has to stay on PlayStation. Kingdom Hearts has been fucking multi plat since its second game. And I'm not talking about Kingdom Hearts 2. Talking about Chain of Memories. But no, because everyone calls the handheld games filler games or some shit. Everyone calls the handheld games filler games. And I'm pissed off, I'll be right back. I'll just, just, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Like I said, everyone calls the handheld games filler games. Yeah, the handheld games give more story. And help out with the story more. Than the main games. The main games give you a piece of the book. But, I'm telling you. You're gonna need to play the handheld games. You got to. And most of them showed up on Nintendo's console. So while you sitting there tripping the game that hasn't even been exclu exclu completely exclusive from pretty much the jump. Because uh, Chain of Memories came out two years, a year after Kingdom Hearts uh, 1. And it fills in the gap between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. And I know if you didn't play China Memories, you sat there and played Kingdom Hearts 2 and you're wondering, why the fuck is Sora waking up out of a pod? Sure, the opening may give away some of it, but the, it, it's not enough. It's not enough. You... you, you you gotta understand who who are most of these people that are showing up in Kingdom Hearts 2. If you did not fucking play Shadow Memories, you won't know who the fuck they are. You'll hear the name Namine, and you're like, why the fuck is she in this story? And three, five, eight days over too. That shit was on the DS. Not exclusive to PlayStation. Come the fuck on, guys. Don't be the Sonic fan base.
and not be the Sonic the Hedgehog fan base. If you do that shit, we have completely gone full retard. And you are never, never supposed to go full retard. Because when you go full retard, people, you become gullible as fuck. Okay? You become gullible as fuck. And you start saying shit that is not logical. You start giving stupid explanations. And people can roast you. Like I said, I'm not taking up for the Xbox One. I do not like it at all. I fucking hate it. But stop bitching. You're not buying the Xbox One. So why the fuck do you give a fuck? Like, damn. Just because Square probably signs a couple of contracts and be exclusive for some amount of time, they are still a third-party developer in their own fucking right. They are independent. They're not obligated to any one company. Because if they were, if Square was obligated to any one company, they would have never showed up on a Sony console. Why? Because they started on Nintendo. And if they were to stay with Nintendo, they would stay with all Nintendo consoles. So you'd see a Final Fantasy on the Nintendo 64. You'd see more Final Fan main Final Fantasies on the GameCube. You'd see more Final Fantasies on the Wii. You'd see more Final Fantasies on the Wii U. But no. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Because no one owns them. No one owns them. And... It's just sad because everyone's turned off the Xbox One, but they're obviously not because they're complaining because two games from a third party developer is going to that console. Mind you, people don't even know. But it's definitely the truth that eight out of ten three sixty users, and that is a lot. Eight out of ten three sixty users came from a PlayStation Two. They came from a PlayStation Two, and that's just the truth. Most of those people. They maybe had or maybe didn't have an original Xbox. I had an original Xbox. I don't have it anymore. Just, my shit just disappears over time, but shit. Like I said, 8 out of 10 360 users had a fucking PS2. Which would mean 6 to 7 out of 10 of them has played Final Fantasy, has played Kingdom Hearts. Who are we, the PlayStation fanboy? Who are we, the PlayStation fanboy, to stop them from getting an experience? That's the thing about the PlayStation fanboy. We're spoiled. PlayStation fanboys are spoiled. That, that's the end of it right there. We are spoiled. We're already getting the HD of versions, HD versions of Final Mix, Rechain of Memories, and 358 Days Over 2 cutscenes exclusively. That shit ain't going to Microsoft. We're getting that shit exclusively. <sighs> We're getting it exclusively. 2.5? We're probably getting that exclusive too, because if the first one is exclusive, more than likely the second's going, second one's going to be exclusive. It's too late for a port job now, because when Square releases something, they want that shit to come out at the same time. Final Fantasy XIII, they weren't going to, they, they, you saw what they did. They had to get it out at the same time, because it, it, it wouldn't make sense to put the port out 
after the normal is already on the consoles. And at the same time, I'm not saying that works for every company. But I'm saying to Square, it doesn't work like that. Now, now I'm going to get on Ubisoft, like, with Rayman Legends, which was originally supposed to be Wii U exclusive, but then they want to port that shit to the 360 and PS3. They could have released Rayman Legends. Because 9 times out of 10, Rayman Legends isn't going to sell anymore. It's not. Why? The thing about it, Rayman Legends could have helped the Wii U get sales. And it could have sold more if they had just released it. Why? Because at that time, February, March, April, barely anything was coming out. We had our Tomb Raider and some other shit. But barely anything was coming out. That could have been a AAA experience. And that's another thing. Like, this isn't even just about, like, Kingdom Hearts Square. This is about the next-gen... The current gen and all that other shit. A trip yet. Uh, this is about games in general. A triple A title doesn't have to be filled with with blood and mature content and dark stories and all shit. That that's not. A, a, that, that's what people consider games now. That's games now. Games are blood, dark stories. Uh, gritty nature and all that. That's, that. Those are games now. That that's what people say are games now. I thought a video game was something that we have fun with. I thought at the end of the day, even if a story was the shittiest one you have ever seen in your fucking life, if you had the gameplay, even if those graphics were shit, if it had the gameplay, shit that you'd want to sit down and play and enjoy, then isn't that what a game is? But it's not that anymore. It's not. I've always been the one to, no matter how shitty a game was, if I enjoyed the gameplay, then it was fine for me. Mind you, I'm a guy that mostly plays RPGs, and I mostly play them for the story and amazing open worlds. I love running around the world. That that That's why I love doing it. Why? Because it's entertaining. When I go outside the house, I can't travel the entire world. Why? Because I don't have a lot of money. Like, I just went to the movie theater yesterday, but that's just regular shit you do throughout the year. Like, but back to, back to the rant is, it's mostly about, it's mostly about this Kingdom Hearts shit that I keep saying is, it's fucking crazy. Because I feel like I'm losing the fucking fan base here. Not even me. I feel like the fan base is just lost. And it's crazy. Because it's only two games. Like. Oh shit, I don't even know where this video is going anymore. I guess it, it just turned into so much shit because it's fucking crazy, man. This is bullshit. If you're going to buy it on PS4, why do you care about it coming to Xbox One? They don't. Sony does not own Square Enix. You want an exclusive? Play a Naughty Dog game. You want an exclusive? Sony has. Play, play a Santa Monica game. If you want an exclusive, just play some shit from Red. Just, just, uh. Sony has 20 exclusive developers. 
You want an exclusive? Play a Killzone game. You want an exclusive? Play an Infamous game. <sighs> but if a game is coming from a third party developer, and they want to make that shit multi plat Don't rave at them. And this is mostly at Square Enix in general. Stop. Don't. We couldn't have got this shit. Think about that. I was not expecting an announcement from Kingdom Hearts 3. For Kingdom Hearts 3. Till at least 20 fucking 15. And that means shit. That means something. Okay. I don't know if it means something to you. But it means something to me. The fact that I was not expecting it. To 2015, 2016, 2017, that means fucking something. That means that this company is trying to get back on their feet. They're trying to do what fans ask them. The 10, 10 2 HD remaster. They had that shit off for a while. This shit, that that shit was announced in E3 2011, E3 2010. TGS 2010, something like that. But that shit is finally coming out. They did a damn good job on it, from what I've seen. <sighs> I'm not even gonna say the Kingdom Hearts, just squaring this fan base in general. It's, it's going full retard. And you do not go full retard. That That's bad. You, you, you can't go full retard. It, it's, it's, it's a bad don't go full retard. Don't ever go full retard. And I'm just... I don't know. It's, it's crazy. It, it, it's just a business practice. Okay? They need more money anyway. You see they've been having financial losses and shit. You, I know you read the shit. I, I definitely have. So why the fuck are you tripping? Like... It's not gonna affect the story. It's not gonna affect the gameplay. If Microsoft has a little slightly less detailed graphics, who cares? PS4 is still the lead console. They obviously showed you that. Damn. <sighs> anyway, guys, this is Story Life Story Checking Out. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Uh, I gotta find the title for this video. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later and enjoy.